Dear participants, we are going to study Unit 2 about cooperative learning. Cooperative learning has roots in social constructivism. We are going to see those roots. We are going to learn about cooperative learning activities and about the use of technology for enhancing cooperative learning. Regarding the roots of cooperative learning, we can see that it has roots in social constructivism because every human being needs acceptance and good relationships with other people and because of the importance of working and interacting with other human beings. By Gotsky, emphasized the importance of culture, society, language, and interaction as very important factors for understanding how children learn. Cooperative learning offers different classroom procedures for implementing group-based activities in the language classroom. Cooperative learning also offers opportunities to practice the language and use more complex language and structures during interaction with classmates. It could be used at any level, from kindergarten to university. For successful implementation of activity with cooperative learning, Teachers need to know how to organize effective things. and that's what we are going to revise through an, a scientific article in this course. We also are going to study about the importance of technology and uh, popular technology tools which offer many possibilities for teachers and students for cooperative learning activities. The use of ICTs is related to the constructivist approach because technology allows instructors to create a learning by doing environment. This interaction is very important because it increases students' motivation. These have been the most important aspects we are going to study in Unit 2. Thank you very much.